Hey guys, this is your daily tarot message. So this will be for Monday the, um, I think it's the 7th tomorrow. So this will be what we need to know or what may happen. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, and if you would like a personal reading with me or would like to leave a donation, everything is down in the description box. Um, let me know in the comment section what you think of the reading um, and any other kind of tarot, car, uh, tarot readings that you'd like to see. Um, I should be putting out some pick a card readings soon, um, but it's just down to my energy and when I have the energy to do it. Um, so I'm going to be doing these for a couple of days more, so yeah. Anyway guys, so the message for Monday, what we need to know. First of all, I feel like you probably need to take a breath. You probably need to take a breather because here we have the devil and the devil denotes restrictions, inhibitions, desires, lust, control, needing to be in control, needing to have things a certain way or obsessively thinking about something or needing to plan everything precisely or we feel like we're not in control. Um, and with this energy it's like that's why you have the five of ones here because it's like you're in a battle with yourself because when we are in a state of control it's our ego it's not our higher self it's our ego our ego seeks to control our ego seeks to I must know this I must do that I must do this that and if I don't do that I'm a failure or I should beat myself up and feel shameful and da 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 it's just our ego mind and it pulls us into these kind of trappings and the thing is you can break free of it and what I'm hearing the way to break free of it if you do find yourself in this state of mind um, is to basically look at what you're doing and recenter yourself refocus your breath focus on what brings you joy don't focus on what you don't have don't focus on um, you know, if there's a particular situation that's been troubling you, try not to focus on it. Focus on the good. I've just seen um, 222 on the clock. So some of you might be worrying about a significant partnership. And what I'm directly hearing from Spirit is do something creative. Like here, they, there's a pie. There's um, some tinctures and I think some food. And here is some plants. So tomorrow, if you can, maybe um, plant a plant, bake a cake. Maybe you want to use some blackberries um, if you like those. Um, maybe you want to make a homebrewed tea. Dandelion tea may be um, really good for you. Obviously, trust your own intuition with any kind of things like that. Whatever you put into your body is your own responsibility. So I just have to say that. But yeah, I feel like, so here we have this pie, we have a blackberry pie. Now a blackberry pie is very sweet and nice, but you need just the amount of kind of sugar to balance out the bitterness, right? So in your life tomorrow, how can you balance out your mind or how can you balance out what it is that you're not fully aware of yet um, to come into a place of like harmony within yourself? Also, so it's number 15, which equates down to a six. Six is to do with love, home, um, happiness, family, um, ancestry and all of that. So where does this control come from? If you fight kind of, if you feel yourself consumed by some sort of control, codependency, addiction or whatever tomorrow, um, or maybe it just comes up for you tomorrow, maybe you want to look into where it is rooted in maybe it's rooted in your past maybe it's rooted in a past connection or childhood or something like that i'm also seeing um green ivy um and nettle some of you if you have allergies um for some of you nettle tea might be really good um if it's like hay fever causing the allergy And then here, um, like the spoon thing, to me it looks like an arrow. So I feel like you kind of, I feel like you want to go towards something, but something's stopping you. And it's like because you're in this devil mindset, because you're in your mind so much, 
you're not able to see clearly and it's like you feel like you're in competition with the world or with yourself and it's like you're just beating yourself up um, and there's a lot of red here so you might want to work on your root chakra tomorrow youtube root chakra healing um i believe i've got a reiki healing root chakra video on here i'll link it down um in the description box so you can watch that if you wish to but if not work with red foods um cranberry juice would be really good um black currant anything red apples wearing red stuff like that i'm also seeing that if something happens tomorrow that kind of make it might bring up aggression or it might bring up anger just be mindful of that it could be the like simplest thing like your stubby toe and then you get really angry and then something breaks because you've gotten angry and you didn't mean to do it and then you kind of end up in a battle with yourself we've just seen five 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 on the clock which represents change and transformation so i do feel like tomorrow is going to be quite big for change i just feel like there's a need to get a handle of your emotions or if this isn't you, this might be another person. There might be someone near you in your workplace, in your work situation, or a family member or someone near to you that is feeling quite angry, um, maybe a little bit stubborn right now. Just, you know, try and monitor your time tomorrow uh, and try, you know, come from a place of patience, not only towards yourself, but for another Um yeah and then we have a lot of orange energy here again so i feel like can you do something creative tomorrow because i think that'd be especially if you're feeling angry doing something creative um is art therapy yeah so get orange colors spray paint crayons um chalk whatever it is that you have that's orange red and yellow and like create a fire with it on a piece of paper like draw it or maybe you want to work with fire. Maybe you want to do a fire release ritual tomorrow if you're feeling angry um, or if you've got some sort of addictions that you're trying to release or something you're trying to overcome. Yeah, and then we have the star here, which to me does symbolise even if tomorrow maybe things don't go a certain way, um, ultimately, you know, you are actually being protected. Um and there is like a guiding star kind of sh trying to show you the way and then here we have um like the white i see all the white so underneath all of this you are actually pure of heart and what is going on is actually pure but sometimes you have to get to the very core yeah i'm also hearing just because of this now i don't think i'm not sure if it's oil or whatnot i don't really know what it is but um, be mindful of certain foods you're putting into your body tomorrow. If you are eating certain fatty foods or things with a lot of oil and you start to notice your stomach is hurting, this is just for someone out there. Just be mindful of the amount of oil you are consuming um, and what types of food you are consuming, especially tomorrow, because it might aggravate certain things within you. So now we have some additional messages. So we have a flow light water number 24. Oh my God, yeah, so that equates down to a six. So we've got two sixes. So um, you might be seeing 66 or you might see six quite a lot, uh, probably over this next week, actually. Flow like water. Yeah, how can you listen to your emotions tomorrow? Something may arise within you or around you. Remember, whatever happens around us is a direct manifestation from what is going on within us because like attracts like um you know if you're into the law of attraction and if you have that understanding and awareness um yeah how can you flow like water how can you understand your emotions tomorrow could you journal um could you maybe do a bath release get in the bath and visualize as you're in the bath anything that has been agitating you or getting to you you just visualize it coming out of you into the water and then when you pull the plug you visualize it literally all going out into the water and that way it's releasing yourself of whatever it is you're holding on to that isn't healthy for you also drink more water tomorrow 
also for someone out there if you've been getting headaches it's because you're not drinking enough water so water so if you drink a bit more water you should notice that those headaches will go obviously if it's not coming from the water then this message isn't from you but i'm hearing someone out there you need to drink more water and the headaches will go um and then we have patience wait for the fruit to ripen and then here we've got apples bananas and grapes maybe you want to have a fruit salad tomorrow um eat more fruit tomorrow but yeah so patience wait for the fruit to ripen so think of it like a seed when we plant something yeah we don't see it grow initially do we it takes some time and you have to keep nurturing the seed so like yourself or like with your emotions to understand them you have to nurture them you have to feel them in order to heal them yeah you have to feel your emotions in order to heal those emotions in order to grow so the message really for tomorrow is how can you be more patient and loving towards yourself what can you nurture within your life but be patient with the growth of it. Be patient that sometimes our ego wants things right now, right in the moment, and it's just not the right time. So how can you be more patient tomorrow? I've just seen 11.11 on the clock. Um, I think that came up in one of the past readings, actually, on one of these. I think this was uh, Thursday's reading. Oh, I can't remember, to be honest. You might be seeing 11.11. Um, that's a mirroring hour. Also can be a twin flame number. Also, to me, it denotes paying attention to what it is you're thinking. Um, I also just saw 33, 33, um, and 37. Someone might be 37, um, or 37 might be significant. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I think that's all I'm getting for you. So, yeah, have a beautiful, blessed Monday. And, yeah, I hope you have a lovely week. Bye-bye.